Hey everyone, welcome to Brickfall. My name is Jack. Today is another LEGO Weekly News update. Now there's a bunch of stuff that happened this week. As always, a lot of little reveals I feel like uh, kind of came up popping throughout a bunch of different themes for LEGO this week. And uh, like always, let's just start off with uh, LEGO Batman movie news. But before we get into that, uh, this is a quick Amazon sales update. What is uh, a little bit cheaper than normal for the LEGO stuff? Pretty much everything that you saw last week is pretty much still on sale. And the only major thing to report on is that the Star Wars AT-ST set, the uh, most recent one has now been put on sale as well. Check out the links in the video description below if you wanna take a look at that. Now let's just knock out, uh, well, anything that has to do with the Lego Batman movie. Uh, last week there was an episode that was all about the uh, initial reveal of the new Batmobile. Now there has been another image to surface about this giant new awesome set. It's probably gonna be a direct-to-consumer set. And here we can see the Four individual vehicles found. Also, you would know what these vehicles are if you watched the movie because this thing does transform. Here you can see a better image, especially of the main body of the Batmobile, which honestly looks really good. I think from a stylistic sense, it looks better than the other Batmobile that we got uh, from the Lego Batman movie, even though it's not quite as utilitous as that one. And you can see it comes with a Bat Pod. I believe there's two Bat Pod bikes like that on either side. And then we have some sort of a tank vehicle that Alfred is standing on and Batgirl has a pretty cool looking flyer. Usually these breakaway vehicles um, look good when they're all together and then there's maybe one vehicle that is okay when it stands alone. But here, all of these vehicles look super solid. Well, at least that's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think about these uh, breakaway vehicles and the giant Lego Batmobile uh, in the comments section below. Anyways, finishing off uh, Batman news, Lego Batman movie news, yet another poly bag image was found. It's just a another Batgirl poly bag. The image is not good enough to know if she has an alternate expression, but it does look like it is the exact same body for the figure, and it probably isn't an exclusive fig. Just a guess. Here there is a little bit of Star Wars news, just the tiniest thing. This uh, is an image that came from thebrickfan.com, and we have the uh, first images of what the packaging is going to look like for the next wave. This is first going to be seen on Force Friday, that is September 1st, and as you guys are looking at the cool new box art, it is worth mentioning that a leaked picture of the uh, new Ultimate Collector Series Snowspeeder has come out. There is an embargo on the image, so I cannot show it for this episode. If you look through Reddit or maybe some other forums, uh, you might be able to find the image, but I personally think it looks really good, and I'll, well, I'll talk about that more when it comes around. Moving right along, we've got another bit of news. Um, DK Books is coming out with another guide, this time for DC minifigures. It's called the Awesome Guide. Link in the video description below if you want to pre-order that. And of course, a lot of the allure to these books isn't so much the guide itself, but the exclusive minifigure that comes with it. We have a brand new Wonder Woman on the way. The picture unfortunately is extremely small, but the artwork that uh, makes the detailing up for this particular fig is based on David Finch's post New 52 Wonder Woman. It's $13 right now to pre-order and it will be released on May 2nd. Once again, links in the description below. It's really hard for me to determine what is kind of the biggest story of the week. There was a lot of just nice, cool little reveals that happened and this next one comes from Technic and it has to do with the BMW R1200. That actually just came out. I haven't done the review on it yet, but what we found out is that the alternate bike, the alternate build for the bike, I should say, is a concept hover bike that BMW is currently working on. Looks like uh, LEGO was sort of planning to release this bike at the same time as the concept was revealed. It looks really cool. Now I'm going to have to build the alternate one, which is a lot of different parts. I was really looking forward to that bike too. I might just end up getting two sets. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this hover bike. I always think they look cool, but if you've ever seen hover bikes flying around, the concept ones, they're not that practical. And all right, Right, moving down the line. Uh, this is something that I wish came out sooner because I was just on a trip abroad in Vietnam. But anyways, this image was revealed on Hoth Bricks, and it is a travel building suitcase. This is so cool. I really, really, really wish I actually had this thing when I was abroad. But you can see it is actually a special kit for a minifigure. He comes with a ton of uh, different accessories, a few thought bubbles and stuff that you can kind of pin up on him or behind him or with him. And it comes with a little passport. And this is specifically meant to be used for taking pictures of a minifigure while you're on your trip. Maybe put him next to a bowl of exotic looking food 
include or have him in the backdrop of some iconic place. The variety of accessories are meant for him to have uh, depending on where you go. He can either be snowing or skiing or hiking or just playing or doing goofy stuff. And the great thing is that it comes in a little kit that would be easy for you to take with you in a suitcase. It is in the shape of a suitcase. Enthusiasts have been doing this on their own for quite a long time, but now we have a starter kit. And the beauty of this is of course you can just add your own accessories, maybe a couple extra figs, perhaps a few different leg pieces, torso pieces, things like that. And you could probably make some great looking pictures. I think a variety of different expressions could really, really make this thing strong. Anyways, um, this is a Lego store set and I don't know the price or when it's going to be released, but I am totally getting this thing when it comes out. Now here's kind of a funny bit of news because this is the uh, Pirates of the Caribbean Brickheads official reveal. And the funny thing about that is that the image embargo for this particular thing that we're looking at right now with the uh, Jack Sparrow and uh, the other bad guy fig, the actual uh, image embargo was released after the particular Disney sets where you could find the pictures of them in the back anyways. Doesn't really matter. Anyways, the uh, the builds for both of these guys look pretty good. I don't actually know much about uh, the villain. I have seen the trailer, but I do really like the look for Jack Sparrow. I'm also unsure as to whether or not this is part of series one. All of the initial Brickheads figures that were released, they all had a series one sort of print right on the front stand. By the way, we picked up all of those Brickheads figures and did a live stream build uh, just the other day. I'll leave a link for that video if you want to know what they're like in the uh, description below. In more Lego news, um, well, this is technically news for all toy enthusiasts. The New York Toy Fair is going to be happening. Well, actually today, today the uh, episode comes out, but I'm recording this on the 17th. The New York Toy Fair is on the 18th. Every year, a lot of new sets are revealed revealed here, many of which are sets that we know the names of. So now we'll just be able to see what the uh, Ragnarok sets are going to look like or the Spider-Man Homecoming sets are going to look like. But there's also going to be plenty of brand new reveals. It's going to span a ton of different themes. So I would suggest checking out some other Lego news sites. Um, well, today after this video, maybe. But you can also expect us to do a recap for next Saturday. So um, make sure to check that out. And here are the uh, last little bit of news before I get into to a LEGO Ideas 10,000 supporter achievement is a kind of personal piece of news for the LEGO company that giant LEGO facility, I think they're just calling it the house, has been well in development for a while and they have set a release date. September 28th, this gigantic structure is finally going to be open and according to their official announcement, there's gonna be a sort of big open public square for people to kind of hang out and experience some really cool LEGO attractions and then apparently there's also gonna be some other sort of more involved sort of fun house things to do, kind of like an amusement park that you would pay to do. As far as I know, it looks like a really fun time and it's definitely another factor for me to eventually go to Denmark and check out this place called Billund. Now it's time to move on to Lego Ideas. If you don't know what Lego Ideas is, it's a website. You submit a Lego creation and sometimes if enough people vote on it, it turns into an official Lego set. This week, a set was voted on, got 10,000 supporters. Officially in the review stage is the Sega Classic Arcade machines built by the creator Spacey Smoke. There are three different designs for some, uh, I'm assuming, 1980s uh, classic arcade machines. They look like either racing ones or you might even have some flight simulators. That certainly looks like the case with Thunderblade. That might also be an action game, but you can even tell that the seat is in the shape of what looks like a helicopter or a helicopter uh, pilot seat. Outrun certainly looks like a racing game and was probably one of the first of its kind. I just have a feeling. I don't know if that's actually true. And then the last one is Space Harrier. And if I'm not mistaken, I think it's one of those arcade games where you've got that uh, little plane that flies around and it's always shooting stuff and you pick up upgrades that makes it shoot more stuff. I always kind of liked those ones. They're very cool little builds and they look like they might be uh, pretty fun to have. So it'll be interesting to see if this ends up passing uh, its review stage eventually. This is the second build to get accepted to LEGO Ideas for 2017. But somehow I feel like these builds are not really going to be resonating very much with uh, the younger demographic of LEGO. Who knows, a lot of nostalgia stuff has been getting approved recently and uh, only time will tell. All right, so that is it for this uh, LEGO Weekly News update, everybody. Thanks a lot for watching. Remember to check out uh, the New York Toy Fair. I mean, a lot of the news is going to be coming out sort of today. But also we're going to do a big recap about everything that came out uh, next Saturday. And also check out the episode tomorrow for Sunday, Top 10 Mocks of the Week, where you guys, the fans, also get to submit your creations and uh, we throw those up at the end of the episode. So 
Anyways, check out tomorrow's episode. Check out next week's episode and uh, our other stuff that's happening throughout the week. Anyways, all right, that's it. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time at Brick Vault. Thank you.